<laughs> Would you like to hear a story about possibly the worst employee ever? A 47-year-old by the name of Joan Adamson from West Valley City, Utah, started working as a cashier at 7-Eleven. And most people don't know this, or maybe they do, mm -hmm. but 7-Eleven tends to hire people who have uh, been incarcerated, and they've been yeah. in prison, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's a job, one of the places that hires a lot of, uh, you know, felons. And if they're giving people an opportunity chance. to, yeah. yeah, get back on their feet and get That's something cool. on their resume and have a job and everything yeah. else, uh, she did not seize the said opportunity. Uh, on day number one of her shift at 7-Eleven, oh she stole $4,500 worth of prepaid credit cards. Okay. Showed up for her second shift and took $5,000 worth of money orders. When wow. it came time for her third shift, she just walked out and left the store open and unattended. Oh. She didn't take anything on the third day? <laughs> not not, yeah, not, like, not that's noted. She already had, you know, $9,500 worth of other crap. Customers who showed up at the store politely called police and said, Hey, there's nobody working here. What should we do? <laughs> she was arrested two days later after a police chase, which included her trying to run over a cop. She is going to be sentenced in April. Oh. Would you, like, have you ever been in a situation like that where you go into a store and nobody's there or they're just, like, back yeah. in the bathroom for, like, ten minutes? Yeah, they were, they're in the back or whatever That's, it is. It's awkward. Would you call the cop? Would you feel like you should call the cops, though? Or would there's you part of me, I'm like, I should steal some stuff right now. <laughs> or would you just, or you would, would should, you just leave? Yeah, I'd probably just leave. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, going into uh, my neighborhood. Uh, Your gated neighborhood. Where all the rich people so live, got rich. it. Yep. So rich. There's a guard there, though. Uh -huh. Of course there is. I have, have to guard all the rich people. I lost my, like, tag. So I have to, you know, I, I talk to him every day and he just lets me through. Yeah. Because I don't have the automatic tag. Mm -hmm. But I think he fell asleep or didn't see me. Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> and I sat there for 10 minutes. You didn't, like, honk or anything? I thought he or? was, like, he's a nice guy. Like, yeah. I see him every day and he's, always, he's very, 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 very nice. Just... <laughs> You're like one of his napping brothers, so you understand. I was like, I was like, I feel like I'm a dick if he's asleep and I honk, right? <laughs> you're scary. Like, I don't want to wake him up if, he's, if, if you fall asleep at work. What if you just like went into the guard booth and you're just like, just kissed him on the neck? <laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> Rising, shining.